Hi, I'm Kashif Ross, an author that uses Fast Pencil to make self-publishing a lot easier. Today I'm going to co cover how to create a custom cover for uh, your book using the Setup Wizard. In order to do that, you can click on the book that you'd like to edit. Then you can go over to the Setup Publication tab. This is the Setup Publishing Wizard that Fast Pencil has in order to make uh, the self-publishing process a lot easier, but that's covered in another video. For now, I'll skip over to the cover form. Um, on this book cover form, you can choose to upload presets, uh, pre-designs that you've already come up with, or you can use the custom templates. It just allows you a wide variety of options to create something uh, unique for your book. In order to do this, you can scroll down uh, and upload your custom cover by clicking the option of choose, and fi choose file. Or what you can do is you can begin adjusting the presets and make it just as unique as you need it. So you can do this for the front cover, the back cover, and the spine. It's not that difficult. It's actually quite easy and um, it still allows you uh, a, a range of options. What I will say and what I do want to point out is that the size for the front cover is different than the size for the back cover. And this is important to know because the back cover reserves a spot for your barcodes, your pricing, and uh, the category of your book, which is something that you find in any bookstore. It's required for a bookstore for you to have these um, on your book. So just make sure that when you, if you do custom design something, that you adjust those sizes. And once you're done with this area, what you can do is scroll right down to the bottom and choose Next. And this brings you over to uh, an area that allows you to review what you've just created. Now, if, again, you have many options and different ways of looking at it. You can see how it would look on uh, your, your Kindle app or, or whatever um, book app you have. Or what you can do is you can just choose the PDF option, which is what I often choose to look at the covers. Um, because PDFX are often required in order to upload even on different sites. So you can choose this option and get the download. Now when you first do this, it might take a few seconds because it's generating something new, but after your first time, it'll go very quickly. And you'll get this option here. You'll be able to see what the uh, sample book will look like, you being the famous author. And um, whatever you choose to do, it's completely up to you. This is a very uh, simplistic example. So please understand that what you design will look so much more beautiful and it will be a part of uh, the unique piece that you've created. Returning here, I will just let you know that um, make sure before you go past this step that you have reviewed every single thing that you need um, and make sure that if you want to make any adjustments, you go back, that will check on everything. And um, so if you're going to pass this step, you want to also look at what you've produced in your book so far. This is very big. And this is exactly um, what everything is going to look like when you order your own copy of it. So double check everything and don't go beyond this point. When you see red, it's always a warning to say be careful. So here's your big be careful and just pay attention to this warning. Make sure that you have everything you need and everything is in order. Good luck to you and I'll see you in the next video.